This is the Nerf Dart Tag uh, electronic flag unit that came out in 2010 with a, uh, a two, two Stormfire Blasters, uh, orange and uh, green. Um, so they're unfortunately no longer released, but it's a really neat unit and I just wanted to show you uh, its many uses. Um, we use these actually for, uh, for laser tag games a lot of the time, even though they were developed for, for Nerf games. Um, that's kind of the beauty of this product. It can be used with anything. You don't even need blasters. You could technically just use this for Capture the Flag. It's got two different game se uh, settings, Seek and Disarm and Capture the Flag. And uh, it gives you the instructions on the back side of the blaster. Uh, wow, blaster. I'm so used to doing blaster reviews. On the back side of the flag. Um, and it's got these four red lights on top that light up during games and uh, this switch on the front that allows you to set what game to set it for. It's also got a start and stop button on top and this hook so you could hang it from something. Um, it also has a motion sensor in it as well and I'll show you how that plays in. Uh, I'm going to show you the flag mode first. Flag mode is on the bottom there. Um, when you want it in flag mode or when it, whenever you want to set it you uh, flip the switch to whatever setting it is, and then you press this button to lock it in. There, now it's in flag mode, and it's already going off because that motion sensor is sensing the motions in this, uh, in this table. Uh, what happens is when, uh, when you pick up that flag, this, uh, this, this motion sensor goes off and he starts going nuts because, uh, because it's been picked up. So that alerts the other team, oh my gosh, someone's got our flag. So there's red lights going off and there's sound effect going off. And uh, that's what we do for capture the flag. That, that's, it's a pretty basic mode. The setting that I like to use this on is uh, disarm. Um, what you have to do is you set this to either 5 or 15 minutes of gameplay. Uh, this thing has a timer in it. and. Uh, this button up, up on top is your arming and disarming button. One team will set this, we'll put on five minutes. One team will set this guy there and uh, press the arm button and it's armed. It's going, there's a circle of red lights going around on top. It's not making any other sounds. Now this is kind of fun to use at night because of the simple fact that uh, these red lights are lighting up. But, uh, so the other team's objective is to come up and press that button. Seems simple enough, right? Go to press it, it and boom, it works. Um, but because of that motion sensor in there, if you bump it or, uh, or tip it over, or if this thing pretty much senses any motion before that thing goes off, then it'll go off. And um, just the way that we play is the disarm team's objective is to get this guy successfully disarmed. If the time limit is exceeded, um, or if the, uh, if the device is knocked over or the motion sensor is set off, then uh, the disarming team loses and the team that set it up wins. Um, so you can use this for, for one flag or for, for one bomb if you're familiar with those kinds of settings on uh, various types of video games. Um, or you can pick up two of these. The, uh, the problem is uh, the, the set that these came with was kind of expensive and they're out of production. So uh, to get your hands on two of these is kind of tough to do, but if you see one for a decent price, I would definitely recommend picking it up because these can be used for more than just for Nerf games, and that's really what I think the beauty is behind this simple piece of uh, equipment. See you later, guys.